All right, YouTubers, this is your boy, The Virus System, and we are here to do the Chiri Chiri Chara Chara again. And today, I will be taking you through how to manually install the Infix Education School Management System. Somebody just left a comment on my channel, so I just decided to do it. The other time, we only learned how to build um, the app. We didn't actually install the application because I had already done the installation online. But today, I'll be taking you through how to install this infix school management system manually on your local machine so stay tuned with me whilst we go through the tutorial now the first thing you need to do is to um install a composer and um with laravel before you can ex um, execute um the course or the commands that we are coming to execute unless you have what a composer installed if not you will not be able to what, execute those what commands so you need to what go to google so google here type composer then hit on the download button then it switch you to um the next page where we have composer here where you hit on it to download now the latest version i have here is um version 1.9.3 maybe by the time you be watching this video if the app if there's the latest version more than this is still the same thing you can install it so now what you need to do is to download this and start installing it so you hit on the download button and then it will start uh, it will start to download what composer now after downloading composer you need to install composer i have it downloaded here so installing it double click on it and then you follow the on-screen setup procedure so i'll say okay run chiri chiri chara chara then i'll say yes carry on with um windows 7 then we hit on the next button then at this point you are supposed to select your php version now i have multiple php versions currently running on my server which is wamp so if i drop down i have the different versions of php but laravel runs on php 7 so because of that i'm selecting php 7.1 and then you hit on the next button and then you complete your installation i've already done that earlier on so i don't need to install it again but that is the procedure now after installing composer now you have the opportunity to execute the commands and the codes that we are about to see very soon on our screen so i'll hit on this and then close it out because i've already installed composer and actually make sure that php 7 is running on your system so when you check on my wamp i have here you can see that i have php 7.1 i have different versions here i can select but currently i'm running php 7.1 which is the one i'm running for this particular tutorial so now what we need to do is this we need to start executing the commands and to execute the commands we need to set up our system first before we start executing the command so i'll go to my database root folder then i'll open my infix school then i'll open the dot env file and configure this with my database first before we start with uh, the executing the commands so I'll open my .env file, chiri chiri chara chara. Then I have it here. So what I need to do is that I need to configure the database. So my database name is um, chiri chiri chara chara, infix edu tray. So I'll just copy that. Then I'll come and paste here. Then my username here is Avanash. And then my password is pandik006 which I'm done. And then we also need to set up our app URL. So our app URL for a slash, then my public folder here. So save. Now we are ready to run um, the commands for um, manually what? extracting the database from what? Um, our infix database folder into what? The database we have created in what? PHP. Um, admin so now this is the database for um, infix it comes to the database migration database these are all the tables as you can see them and then these are seeds of user data sample user data in what the database so after what export um after migrating this database then we need to seed for this user names and other things so that we can manually log into the system to test our system to see how it works so now what we need to do is that we need to open our command prompt um cmd which is our command prompt then we need to navigate to um our root folder where um infix school management system is extracted to so i have cd backslash to close all folders then cd to open my wamp folder then cd to open my w dot folder which is my root folder 
then my project folder name which is what infix edu 3 so i have infix edu 3 i'm sorry i didn't add cd so i'll type cd then we hit enter now we are in our project folder now we can start executing what our commands our laravel commands to start what migrating and seeding database so the first thing we need to do is that we want to clear what catch you up from what our config file so what i'll do is i'll type what php artisan config column then um catchy then hit enter then we we'll give you some few seconds to do that for us chiri chiri chara chara when it is done we'll continue with the tutorial so let's give it some few seconds it is done cleaning everything configuration catchy and everything is cleared and is successful so the next command that we need to run is to start migrating what the database from this database um, um migration folders or files that we have in our infix school education or database so the next command we type in is php artisan then migrate that is what we need to type now after typing this sorry i have a double space in there which migrate for sure then enter then it has started migrating the data tables through so now it is going through so let's give it some time and when it is fin done migrating these databases then we'll continue to see what the other tables forward user details to be entered into what our system so let's give you some few seconds and when it is done what um migrating all the tables then we'll pick the tutorial from that point again chiri chiri chara chara stay tuned with the virus system whilst the migration system is going through all right so our tables are done migrating so the next thing we need to do is what to seed our tables content from our the seed folder into what our tables that we have just migrated so the next command that we'll be typing is php artisan db column then seed seed so this is now going to seed the content of our the tables the data that we have in the tables into the tables we have just migrated into our database now if you want to see that let's hit on um, our database name to see the tables that has been migrated into what our database and then these are all the tables you can see that they have been migrated from chiri chiri chara chara all tables have been moved into our database so the next thing now is to what seed or remove the information from what the other um data into what our C um, migrated table so i'll hit on the enter key then the seeding process to also starts to chiri chiri chara chara so let's also give you some few time and when it is done then we come back to continue with the tutorial all right so our data has finished seeding into our tables that we have migrated so now let's try visiting what the url for what our infix school management system to see whether it will work perfectly or not so now what we need to do is that we need to type localhost then infix um, edu3 and then our school management system has loaded so at this point we need to what, log into the admin area to access what our admin panel so let's try visiting the admin area um admin we have okay let's say login login and then we at the login page so how do we get username and then um this thing to login so let's go back to um our folder our database folder sorry our application folder then infix which I have here, infix, edu. Then we come to data, then we come to seed, and then we look for the user table. Then we have um users seeder here. And then let's look at the username and password used. So the username and password used here is um admin, super admin. So we just pick super admin. Super admin, chiri chiri chara chara. Then the password is one two three four five six. So we enter one two three four five six. Then we log in. Chiri chiri chara chara. So we are logging in. We are logging in. We are logging in. We are logging in. And it's giving us wrong credentials. So let's check on the user folder and see what username we have there. Username we have there. Chiri chiri chara chara. Chiri chiri chara chara. And then we have admin at infix 
edu.com so let's just copy that and then i know the password will be the same if not the password should be admin so let's say one two three four five six all right so we are finally logged into our system and this is how our system is set up is set up so here we are in our school management system everything is set up and ready to go chiri chiri chara chara so this is how to set up what infix education management system so please stay with the virus system on this channel and please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and don't forget to visit my blog thevirussystems.com for more tutorials and free free scripts you can use at your fingertips before you head to code can you to buy the original script for commercial use remember that every script on my blog is for testing purpose educational purpose but if you want to use them for commercial please buy with original license and you will not have any problem with developers so stay tuned with the virus system on this channel until our next tutorial coming up on your way